Hi guys, welcome back to my channel if you're subscribed. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and click that button and join the Food Vibe Tribe. Click the notification bell so you guys know when I'm creating new content. And that's it, that's all you gotta do. How is everyone? I'm doing amazing. The Food Vibe today is Philly cheese steak and onion rings. I got the work, so provolone cheese, steak, mushrooms, mushrooms, peppers, and onions. Set a ranch. And then I got some sweet, oopsie, some sweet peppers here and some peppercinis here. And then I got a little bit of sriracha because I like, I don't know if I'm going to use it yet though. But let's dive in because I'm hungry. How is everyone? I'm doing good. Look at that. This place, I haven't been to this place in years. I don't know why. I like ranch on my Philly cheesesteaks. And I'm going to put a sweet pepper on there, too. That's a big one. Oh, Bella's hanging out today. I didn't feel like locking her up. Mmm. Mmm. You guys, that's the stuff right there. So, this place is called Taste of Philly. I just picked it up. I don't know if you can see the steam coming off of it, but... It's still nice and hot. Peppers. I love peppers. Look at that one. Ooh, I lost one. Mmm. With the peppers on there, that's tasty. Too bad. She does a little tiny scooch. You guys can see her hiding over here she's just hanging out anyway how is everyone i'm doing amazing i don't know what made me think of a philly cheesesteak but today since my channel is called food vibes that was what i was feeling today and so here we are oh i hadn't been at this place in years and i don't know why i think i just don't think about it i don't know and so today call them up place my order and here we are. I also haven't had onion rings in a while either. Mm. It's called, excuse me. It's called Taste of Philly. So it's supposed to be like authentic Philly cheesesteaks and stuff but it's always really busy Ooh, look at that one let's see if it's spicy it's supposed to be sweet but mm. that was a good bite y'all haven't had onion rings in forever and i actually really like the little ones I don't know why, but I do. Oh, my hair is a little crazy. It's a little crazy today. But I want to, I hope everyone had a really safe and a really happy 4th of July. Mmm. That's good, too. This was a good choice, you guys. I like to dip my onion rings in ketchup. So I brought my jalapeno ketchup if you guys haven't tried this you need to try it it's not really really spicy it just gives a little extra kick to it you know what i'm saying you know what i mean so how was everyone's fourth of july mine was fabulous mm, let's deal with that I'm eating kind of crazy today because I was hungry, y'all. The girl was hungry. And so, this past weekend was 4th of July. And I had a fabulous weekend. We went to, you guys know I talk about Nina Mateus. So, Nina's son, Isaiah, he is about to turn 11 
And so what he wanted to do for his birthday was go camping. <laughs> so there's a place, it's a reservoir. It's called the Pueblo Reservoir. So uh, we went down there the big pepper, but I brought a knife and cut it up. So Friday night, I'm gonna get extra cheese next time. There's still cheese on here, but I cheese it up. <laughs> Friday evening, we drove up there, set up the campsite, set up the tents, had a couple of drinks, had burgers and hot dogs, and just hung out by the fire and had some sparklers and um, some Anita's family came and we all just camped and hung out. And then went to sleep, woke up, broke everything down. And then we went to the reservoir to hang out at the lake. So it was Nita Mateus, both their families, they have big families. So it was really cool that everybody came together for Isaiah's birthday thingy majig. And we hung out at the lake and they had jet skis and we just had some more people come down and hang out. I mean, there's a lot of us and it was so much fun. It was so much fun. I hadn't been to the lake, like, I've been to the lake fishing, but like to hang out and get in the water and stuff like that, I haven't done that in forever. You calm down. She's getting antsy. No, ma'am. Get back. Sit down. Stay. Anyway, so that was fun. And then after the lake all day, Mateus family, lives in Pueblo so we went to their house took showers hung out we spent the night there they're always so great they always let us stay there when we go down there and it's always it's always such an amazing time and then fourth of July we woke up hung out made breakfast and went over to her aunt's house and they have a big annual party every year the whole family is there um there's fireworks and the kids are running around and they have a pool and oh my gosh it truly was so much fun that's my second year going to Pueblo for 4th of July. And I was telling, I like the little ones. So I kind of, I don't know. I feel like when you eat the big ones and they're hot, then that onion comes out and burns your face. <laughs> so the little ones, I feel like that's less like of a chance to happen. But, but that was my second year going to Pueblo for 4th of July. I think I might have to go every year. But... For Vegas, coming up real soon here. Mm. Everyone who is in Pueblo is going to Vegas. And we're all on the same flight. And so that's going to be... I thought I had an extra pepper. Maybe not. Um, that's going to be a blast. So it's... Oh, I can't wait. This going to be so much fun. What do you guys get on your Philly cheesesteaks? Believe it or not, there's this one, the restaurant Cheddar's, it's a, it's a chain. It's, you know, like chilies or whatever. I had a Philly cheesesteak from there a time or two and it is delicious. The cheese is melty and they use like the little mushrooms. They don't chop them up. It's like, oh my gosh, fabulous. But I got the big Philly because if I don't finish it, which I actually don't plan on finishing it, but I want my dad to try it. We like Phillies. Jersey Mike's makes a decent um, Philly cheesesteak. Peppers. Uh-oh, I got a burp coming. Excuse me in advance. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> mm. Good. What'd you guys do for the fourth? Anything fun? Did you guys like fireworks? I actually didn't light any fireworks, but the guys, like the guys in the family who didn't have fireworks, they were trying to drive around all around the city and all the fireworks stands were completely sold out. It was crazy. And, and so, but I mean, we had fireworks though. I didn't light any, I didn't buy any. I, I'm like to watch, but I was standing over there 
and fireworks were popping, blah, blah, blah. And I don't know what happened, but one of them went astray and it burnt my leg. Just a little tiny burn though, nothing crazy. It didn't hurt that bad, but I was like, dang. And then about 30 minutes later, another one kind of went a little wonky. And I said, I'm going in the house, y'all. <laughs> I'm going in the house. Philly cheese, Philly cheese. Let me tell y'all. So last year I went to Pueblo for 4th of July. I tried this mosquito hack and it worked. And I wondered if I tried it again, would it work? You know, is it, maybe I just got lucky, you know? So I'm going to tell you guys right here, right now. And in Pueblo, it's a little, it's hotter than Colorado Springs. And oftentimes it is more humid than Colorado Springs, a little bit. So they do get lots more mosquitoes than we do up here. We don't get a lot of mosquitoes here in Colorado Springs, which is great. But, excuse me, um, you can get it in the baby oil form, the gel form, or the lotion form. I use the gel form. It is aloe vera and vitamin E. If you get the baby oil that has aloe vera and vitamin E, baby oil, lotion, gel, whatever you want to use. I took a shower and I rubbed it all over. I was a little bit greasy, a little bit, but <laughs> it worked. I did not get one bug bite, not one. The whole time we were at camping, at the lake, hanging out outside, I did not get one freaking bug bite. It was amazing. I have one here. That's not a pimple, it's a bug bite. And I got that when I got home, hanging around the house. So... <laughs> Cause I did, I put it everywhere. I put it in my face, my neck, my ears, my arms, my legs, my feet. Cause the yes, last year I didn't put it on my toe or my feet and I got bit on my toe. So you guys should try it. It worked for me. I did it two years in a row. Um, everybody did it the first night camping as well and no one else got bit. So if you're tired of mosquitoes, go ahead and try that. I've seen other things on TikTok. This lady took it's trash day. I feel like it's always trash day when I'm doing a video. Um, what well, Irish spring so soap and she gra grated it, grinded it, grated it like cheese, use cheese grater, grated it and sprinkled it around where they were hanging out on the fourth. And she said it worked. So Whatever's clever, you know, because there's nothing worse. You're out camping, or whatever, and then you're itchy and biting your, and then maybe TMI, but mine get like, mine get nasty. I think I'm allergic to, I'm allergic to skeeter bites. Peppercine. Mmm. Oh, well, I just got a little kick to it. I like that. I like Papa John's when they're... Mmm. Papa John's. Moved your pizza and to bite into a little pepperoncini while you're eating pizza. There's just something about it. Like, tones it. They add a little kick to it. I don't know. It's good, though. Have you tried Papa John's Papadilla? My mom and I mean to try it. We have not. And the commercial will come on. We're like, oh, that looks so good. But when we're trying to decide what we want to eat, we just don't think about it. She's being so well behaved over here. I know some people don't like dogs around and this and but we love our dogs. Our dogs do bed but they're not excessive. So she'll sit there and then she can wait until the end until she gets a little treat. She knows though. She's just hanging out with her mom today. So what's going on, everybody? Is there any exciting news anybody wants to tell me? I wanna hear what's going on with you guys. Look at this pickle onion ring. It's a big one. You know what I have stuck in my head and it's crazy. 
You guys, I always get stuff stuck in my head. It could be a song, it could be a phrase. And so when we were in Pueblo, one of the little, one of the little kiddos, she's so goofy. She's probably nine or 10 and she's stomping around. She goes, here comes Karen knocking on your door. And I'm like, what? what? And she kept doing it. And I was like, Miss Thang, I said, I have to see where you got this from because she was getting it and she kept saying it. And now it's stuck in my head, but she pulled it up on TikTok. Of course it's a TikTok. And it's about Karen too. I was like, here comes Karen knocking on your door when you're closing up the store. I don't know. <laughs> I only watched it like once, but so that's what's stuck in my head today. You know, I've been in the service industry for a long time. And I have not met a lot of Karens, which is a good thing. I think retail is a little bit different than the service industry. But I've been so blessed. Oh, don't get me wrong. I've had some, some rude ladies before. And guys. But overall, I'm pretty lucky. But when someone's acting a fool towards me, okay. When someone's acting a fool towards me, um, and if it's my fault, I'll admit to it. Like there's times where I ring in people's, I forgot to ring in someone's appetizer, like their mozzarella sticks or something. I thought I heard a bug, <laughs> and I hate bugs. But and they're like, well, our cheese sticks never came, and I'm like. That was my fault. I'm so sorry. Like, do you want me to still bring them in? And most times people are cool because um, I feel like when you admit when you're wrong, we're human, we all make mistakes. So it's okay to be wrong as long as you're not trying to blame it on somebody else or whatever. There's girls who, who I know would be like, oh, the kitchen lost the tip. Or just making up some shit. That's not true. I have done that a time or two, but that was when I was at Hooters and I was so busy and I just didn't have the time. But now that I'm older, um, I just admit when I'm wrong and so when people or like if the kitchen really did mess something up and someone's mad at me I'll leave I'll tell them I'll be like listen I didn't mess up your food and then they kind of drop their shoulders and they're like okay like it really isn't my fault but I do understand like you know you waited for your food you'd like it to be the way you want it to be so sorry we'll go ahead and fix we'll make it right honey if you're not hungry no more, or if you want something else, or whatever you want to do, we will take care of it. But you just have to communicate with people. And that, for me, I think that's why I haven't encountered too much shenanigans. I mean, I've encountered some shenanigans, y'all. We can get into that a whole nother time because there's been many, many <laughs> of incidents. But not so much disrespectful incidents. Stuff that's kind of crazy and off the wall and you're like are you what like what is life <laughs> i'm getting full i'm gonna save this for my dad i was watching a video on, on youtube i think it was last night about how like i guess the i guess the other side of mukbang like there is a i'm not gonna say a controversy or i don't know what the word is that i'm trying to say but they do say that there are a lot of mukbangers who have eating disorders. And trigger warning, I'm sorry if you, if this, you know, tugs at your heartstrings or is something personal to you. But I'm going to approach it with, with respect and with care. And um, so I, I saw that and I'm like, you know what? I bet there are a lot of people who are mukbangers and people who watch mukbang who do have eating disorders. And it couldn't be... It can go either way. It could be very unhealthy and very dangerous. Or I've heard from B Love. You guys know B Love. She had said that she got messages from people who were like, you know, I have an eating disorder, but your channel makes me want to eat or your channel, you know, I don't know. So I guess obviously there's a good side and bad side to everything. But 
that's why like i understand that mukbang like originated in korea and it's an abundance of food and and i may not be doing mukbang because i'm eating what i feel comfortable eating i'm not going to overeat so everybody's got a struggle And for me, I love food. So I've been blessed. I've never had an, had to struggle with an eating disorder before, but I know people who have. And so me going into this, starting my channel, I just wanted to be mindful and still try to maintain a pretty decent, healthy lifestyle with food, you know? <laughs> and then I take that <laughs> big, huge bite. <laughs> But just know you guys are not alone. And if you are struggling, I hope soon you will get help so that you can be happy and healthy. And I'm not eating these seeds, girl. Because this little pepperoni was hot without the seeds. So, but yeah, it was interesting to, to see that video on the other side of my phone. I love doing my channel. I love eating. I love hanging out with y'all. But I know that there are people who, I brought a fork because, you know, but there are people who are doing mukbang and, and it can be very scary. So, anyway just got to be aware I guess and because sometimes things like that they sneak up on you addiction so on a lighter note I'm getting really full but this is fabulous I got this piece left And my pepperoncinis. Should I just eat the seeds? Okay. I'm going to do it. It wasn't that bad. I think that pepperoncini wasn't as hot as the other one. Because the other one was pretty spicy. But not too spicy. Oh man. I got a lot of food left. But see that's what's nice about when you live with people. Look at her. She's getting ready to fall asleep. Are you sleeping? <laughs> She's funny. Anyway. But when you live in a house with a bunch of people. Well not a bunch of people. with But with other people. They often will eat whatever's left. So. That's always cool. You guys, I got to go to Walmart today. And I really don't want to go to Walmart today. I'm going to. I wonder if I can go to Target. I guess it really doesn't matter. I just don't like, I like to, <coughs> excuse me, go to the store, get my shit, and get out. Mm -mm -mm. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Papa. Good combo. That was my last bite, you guys. Here comes Karen. <laughs> Look it up. It's like, you know, like TikTok has trending sounds. I don't know if that one's trending because it hasn't popped up on mine yet, but I'm pretty sure by now. That sound is trending. <sighs> that was good. Let me scooch this over. You guys go get you a Philly cheesesteak. Yes. I used to eat the 
I used to eat a lot of Philly cheesesteak back in my day. Because believe it or not, when I worked at Hooters, they made a really good Philly cheesesteak. I don't think they make them anymore. They might. But Hooters, believe it or not, back in the day, their Philly cheesesteaks were popping. And you know what I was going to get today was Hooters Wings. But I didn't want to go all the way down to the mall because it's in the, I'm going to call it the Citadel because it's called the Citadel. But yeah, it's a little rough, you know, <laughs> but that's where Hooters is now or has always been. And I just didn't feel like going down there. So we settled for a Philly cheese. All right, you guys. I appreciate you guys watching with me and hanging out with me. You know I love it and I love y'all. You can eat with me anytime, day or night. And I'll see you guys soon. Please take care of yourselves and bye.